M0FXB, just thought I'd just show you around my uh, D-Star setup here. So we've got ICOM ID52 in the background and it's in DR mode. Now I'll show you what DR mode is. If you hold down DR here, we're in normal memory mode. We can change memories just like normal or we can go to VFO mode and just change the frequency. See that? If we hold down DR, now you can do this on on the ICOM 705, you can do it on 9751 and loads more radios, 5100. So we're in DR mode and what we've done in the bottom half, sorry about that, in the bottom half, we've got the, uh, we've selected my Pi Star hotspot. Now we could select, if we wanted to, we could select a repeater. You know, it doesn't have to be my Pi Star hotspot. But selecting your hotspot is basically the same as selecting a repeater, but you put in different frequencies, that's all. So we'll go back to Pi Star because that's what's on. And if you look at the image in front of you, we've got our Pi Star dashboard. Now, how does Pi Star work? So, effectively, you can see one in the window. It's the dual, it's a, this is the dual antenna one, but it, it doesn't have to be dual antenna, it can be a single antenna. Now, if I key the mic, you'll see it come to life. There you are, D star. I know it's a bit blurred, but what that actually shows is um, that it's D star. It will show what I'm connected to as well, uh, which reflector probably have an IP address and my call sign. So if we go to the, let's see if we can let it sh get the dashboard to show up when I key. So uh, I'm just going to find the dashboard a minute. Should be here somewhere. Got too many thing, too many windows open here. So I'm just closing down some of these windows. As you do, I don't know where they all come from. Let's go back up here. Sorry about this. Right. So let's just key the mic again, and we'll just. Ah, you see someone coming in there. W one. ZOT. Now, now, if you look at the image on the computer, you can see that you're seeing his call sign come through. You're seeing even GPS is showing up here, so I'll click that. And um, it does go to the map. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it does go to the map of his coordinates. And we can click his call sign, and it does go to QRZ. So that's the Pi Star system click back there now if I key you'll see me show up now I shouldn't key too much because obviously there's people there but that's showing me now look here on the bottom left it says reflector one Charlie we've got my repeater one repeater two settings um, and the, the frequency of my I should come back to that station really um, my uh, my I will do in a minute my um, Frequency for my hotspot is in there. I'll show you the configuration, then I'll go back to that station. So, uh, go like so. So, I'll just show you the config. So, we've got D star here, we've got simplex selected here, MMDVM host, because we, we're running it, even though it's a dual star, we're running it as a simplex. A lot of people here in this room. So, there's my frequency, call sign, pi star, location, the hat, radio modem type, they are. Look, so if you ever do this, select that. Um, then I've got in M0FXB Q. Normally you'd have a B, but I've got Q because there's two hotspots in the radio. And then G by default, really. Uh, there's no, I don't think there's a remote password. Uh, that must be default. And then look, when it reboots, it actually reboots to Reflector 1 Charlie. So that's all my settings and the Wi Fi stuff. Now this hotspot is connected wirelessly um, to, to my. Um, to my computer. So how's that done? Well, you go to Pi Star here. Um, and let's bring this into the thing. I'll just show you. Bring you into Pi Star. Yeah, that's it. And then what you do is you go to um, once you've got your hotspot, your jumbo spot. You have an SD card. Take it out of the jumbo spot. Go to Pi Star Tools, and you've got Pi Wi-Fi Builder. And here you put in your username, password. Click submit like so I just put in any letters for now that's of your router at home click submit and you get this file and you just drop it into the SD card when you put the SD card in back into your router and reboot then you just put in the Google here at the top just put in pi star like this pi 
if you've done it right with a slash and it will go straight to your um, it will find like it's found mine your PyStar configuration and then just go into config and the the password username and password is pi dash star and then raspberry r a s p b e r o y when you sign in you can configure it it doesn't have to be d star it could be fusion could be dmr could be whatever you want um as long as you put in all the other settings and your dmr number as well and a c4 fm radio does have to have a call sign in it and away you go so uh yeah i hope you find this interesting and uh it's great fun so uh, 73 all the f- all the best m0fx be clear <laughs>